For the first time since 1992, Minnesotans will vote in a presidential nomination primary election. Minnesota would keep precinct caucuses for everything else, all other offices, platform matters, everything else. But for this one contest only, President of the United States, they would remove that from the caucuses and run it on a parallel track as an actual election. We're glad you're here. What a great turnout. Part of the reason for the change was the heavy turnout at the 2016 caucuses. I think um, the legislature's view was that the caucus process was a bit chaotic in 2016 because of its success, because so many people went there and participated, and also that in the end for such a, a meaningful and important office as President of the United States that there should be an opportunity for people to participate even if they can't physically be present. And one potential downside of the caucus system is it requires physical presence versus a, a, a regular election which has in Minnesota law um, a very generous absentee voting process. Absentee voting begins Friday, January 17th, and the presidential nomination primary election is Tuesday, March 3rd, at your regular polling place. But there's one thing voters should know when going to the polls. I just want to make sure Minnesotans who do choose to participate are aware of the data rules so they're not taken by surprise by the fact that their choice of party, not candidate, but their choice of party will be available to four different, up to four different political organizations. For any more information about elections and voting, go to sos.state.mn.us. Learn more about The Connection at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.